Let's knit the easy rib stitch hat. Get your extra large loom and the rest of your supplies and we will start by securing the yarn to the anchor peg. Wrap all of your pegs. Next, we're going to do a row of the U wrap knit stitch. To do the U wrap, half wrap your peg and knit off. You're done with your cast on, now to row one. E-wrap, three pegs. Then purl the next two. To do a purl stitch, take your hook from the top and you're going to scoop up the working yarn and create a loop. You're then going to take off the old loop and put the new loop on and pull your yarn to tighten the loop. Repeat the pattern. You're going to e-wrap three pegs and then purl two pegs. At the end of your row, if you have an odd number loom like I do, which is 41, you're going to e-wrap three and then purl three. If it's even, you can just do two. For those three E wraps, you're going to go back and knit off by taking the loop from the bottom over the top. Don't forget to remove the knot from the anchor peg after a few rows. You're now ready to start a new row. Your pattern is knit three, purl two, and you're going to just repeat this. Knit three, purl two, and remember if you have an odd number loom, at the end you'll do a knit three, purl three. Thank you.
You're going to repeat these rows until you get your desired length. In my case, I did 38 rows. Now take the working yarn and wrap it around your loom, just a little bit over one round, and then cut the yarn. And now with your hook, scoop up the yarn and feed it through the loop. And continue this until you've done all of the loops on the loom. Once you're done, you can now remove the loops from the pegs. Turn the hat inside out and pull on the cast off string until you've closed that opening enough. And then you're going to go ahead and cut that raveled edge and we're going to thread a needle with the strand of yarn. Now feed the needle through those cast off loops in order to pull the strand through those loops and close the opening. If you're planning to add a pom-pom, then go ahead and feed the strand of yarn back to the front, and that's gonna leave you with a long string, a long tail string, and you can use that to attach the pom-pom. You also have the option to tighten those cast-on loops, and I'll give you a link to that video in the description. Now let's weave in the ends. So I'm going to thread a needle with the cast off yarn. And the way I weave in my ends is with a needle. I sew the excess yarn towards the top of the hat. And then I'll do a sort of loose knot and then feed it back down. When I feel like it's secure, then I'll pull on the string a little bit, cut it, and it feeds itself back in. Now it's time to accessorize. I'm going to add a pom-pom and a tag.